I am back today and I'm going to be doing my March favorites. This video should be posted by April 5th? 4th? 5th? I think it's the 5th. Um, anyway, it's just going to be products that I used a lot of in March and that were my favorites, as you know, implied by the video. So, to get started, I think I'm going to start with foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. I used this in my Five Below video, Five Below Makeup, and if you remember, it was super watery and I got it all over my pants, but um, it's a really good foundation. I didn't expect it to. I feel like kind of a snob saying that. They're all just like little Five Below foundations. It's not going to work, but it worked really good. I've never seen this like anywhere else that carries Wet n Wild products, so I don't know if it's like a really random wet and wild product that they don't have most places but I've never seen it before and um but it's supposed to be like a full coverage medium to full coverage foundation and I think it's really good they only have like a couple shades like fair medium dark like it's like one of those kind of things um but it works really well and I really like it I'm not gonna lie it has a little bit of like a chemical smell but I still like it I think it's pretty good you know considering <laughs> but um I use it a lot I used it today um it's really good. I just kind of like dot it on my face very carefully so it doesn't get everywhere. And then I use just a regular like, um, I can't think of the name, like a paddle brush. And I just rub it in my face and it works amazing. And what I have been using with that is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Uh, I recently placed an order for ColourPop. Of course, I got the lightest shade they have literally one day before they released the new shades of ColourPop. So I was like, they probably have lighter shades now that would work for me, but I mean, this is pretty good. This is was the latest that they had then, and it, it honestly works pretty well for um, how fair I am. So I think it still works fine. I probably, if I ordered again, I'd probably get the same one. This is in Fair 5, which I believe they now call Light 10. Um, They have much fairer shades now, but this one works really well, and honestly, this is the most amazing concealer I've ever used in my life. Like, I'm not exaggerating <laughs> at all. It's so good. It covers everything. I've never used um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I know that people say it's comparable to that. And again, I have like, I have no point of like reference, but this is freaking incredible. So if it's anything close to Shape Tape, I mean, this is $6. I think Shape Tape's like, well, like $28. So, I mean, it's a fraction of the price and it's, it's fantastic. This is, I believe, $6 on the ColourPop website. You can only get it on the ColourPop website. I hope that they start carrying it at Ulta because they've been talking about carrying ColourPop products at Ulta. So that would be really great if they did that. That way I didn't have to order it every time I wanted it. Um, because I'm gonna rip through this pretty fast because it covers everything. <laughs> I've also been using the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, High Definition Concealer, the green shade. Um, you can use this to color, color cover redness any like red spots or redness on your face i have a tendency to get kind of like reddish like just like not even blemishes just like red patches in areas on my face i don't know why um it's really cool it has this like little brush on tip thing and if you think the product isn't coming out when you're squeezing it it is don't keep squeezing it or you'll end up like me where it's everywhere and <laughs> So just give it like a tiny squeeze and then test it before you just like go into it like a savage like I did. Um, but yeah, this is so good. I've had other color correctors. I had the um, Essence color correcting like the little sticks. It was just like super oily and I felt like if I went to blend it, it just kind of blended like gone. Like there was nothing there and I was like, I don't know how this is correcting any redness if when I go to blend it, it just disappears from my face um so I decided to try this one because I've seen so many people on YouTube talk about the LA girl I know that they usually talk about like the actual concealer not like the color corrector but this is so good it's so good I love it I would 100% buy this one again and I would love to try the other concealers I got this at the Ulta opening by me I live in Lancaster Pennsylvania and we just had an opening um near us and so pretty much all the concealer <laughs> was super picked out everything was really really picked out so i was just able to pick this up and i wasn't able to get my hands on the actual concealers um and what i've been using with my concealer corrector and foundation is this powder with the clearance stickers on it so you can't even see what it is so i'm gonna read it to you <laughs> it is the maybelline dream wonder powder in the shade classic ivory 
Um, I know that everyone says you're not supposed to set your foundation with foundation powder, but I do it anyway and I like it. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Um, this is like a super, like, it's so soft, like just touching it is so soft. They said that this is a um, full coverage powder, which is pretty awesome. I've been putting this on my foundation lately and I really love the way it looks. And when it's like, what I think this was like $2 because I found it on a sale rack, you can't beat it. And it's really, it's really, really good. It really smooths out my face and I really, really like the way it looks. Um, next up, I have a brush that I also got at the Ulta opening. It kind of, I got it as a pair. I bought the Morphe M441 blending brush, which I love, love, love. It's so good. It blends things out super easily. I'm always on the hunt for a really good blending brush, and this was awesome, and I want to say it was like $5. I'm really stoked that they carry Morphe at Ulta now, and I'm also super stoked that I finally have an Ulta that isn't like 45 minutes to an hour away from me. I'm like grabbing my own hair and like pulling out of my head over here. I also picked up the Morphe um, 9B Bronze Babe palette. This palette is literally like $12 and it's so good. Look at these colors. They're so pretty. I am all about bronze and oranges and that's closing. It's doing it again. Um, bronze and uh, orangey brown, like anything like that. I love all those colors. Let me get like a close up here for you guys. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it has this like really nice like gold shade up here. I just, pardon as I'm like turning it, you can see like how messy my room is and then you can see my camera. Um, <laughs> it's so good. It has this great like gigantic mirror. I love it. It would be great for traveling and be able to do your makeup just like right in this gigantic mirror. Um, it's some of the best quality eyeshadows I've ever used in my life and it's in a $12 palette. So, I mean, you can't beat it. Following on the um, eyeshadow train. <laughs> My next two things are also eyeshadow palettes. One is a ColourPop palette. ColourPop had a sale recently and it was like one of those buy four shadows, get a palette and like you build your own palette things. You'd get like get a palette free with it. And my mom really wanted to make a palette and she really likes my ColourPop shadows that I had. So she was like, let's make palettes. <laughs> and she was very excited about it. So we made those palettes and that's when I got the concealer. So this is a palette that I made myself. And if I can open it, I'll show you. Um, these are the shadows in it. The ones I'm wearing today is I'm wearing this one, which is, I believe, oh, I cannot remember the name of this. And I honestly, I don't think I can get it out of here. But this one is the one I'm wearing all over my lid. I don't know if you can see like the green shimmer. This is called Tea Garden and it's beautiful. Um, with Tea Garden, I find that it's really hard to get like really bright, like metallic-y or like shimmery color. Um, just doing it dry. So I spray my brush with a little bit of um, setting spray and then I went in and got it on that and it just it packs on so pretty so so pretty <laughs> So I did that one. I also grabbed glass bowl um, I really wanted glass bowl for a long time and every time I ever go to get it It's sold out. It's like one of their top selling shadows So I picked those up and I made myself kind of like a mauve purple Palette with some uh, shimmer colors in it and I'm really loving it. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and the next eye, um, eyeshadow palette that I really like is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I'm obsessed with it. And it's like, it's soft. It's wonderful. It's velvety. That's really all I want. Um, I had the, it's also got my hair stuck too. Um, I had the Prism Palette and I really liked it, but I'd only used it like twice. And I'm not super great at doing eyeshadow and everything yet. So I was like, I don't know how many looks I can do with this. Like I needed something a little more neutral. So I was like, I wonder if I took this to, to Sephora, if they would be willing to take it back. And Sephora has like the greatest return policy ever. You can literally walk in with like anything. And they're just like, sure, whatever, we don't care. Um, that's not true. You have to have like 60% of the product left. So if you go in there and say that, you know, they'll just take anything back in like a broken bag, they won't do it. But um, <laughs> if you bring 60% of the product back, they will do it. And I had way more than 60% of the product left, so I brought it back and I picked up Soft Glam instead because I've been seeing it online and I know some people were talking crap about it, like it not looking that different from like Modern Renaissance and some of the other stuff, but I think it's gorgeous and oh my gosh, I just, I freaking love the colors in this. They're so pretty and these are colors that I will use all the time. I'm obsessed with orange soda. I, I use it way too much. Orange soda and burnt orange are like my go-tos. These two colors here, where am I at here? There. I love them. I love them so much. And I also really loved this rose pink. I was able to put that all over my lid the other day. And it's beautiful. I'm so happy that I picked this up and that I returned Prism. Again, Prism isn't a bad palette. It's really good and has really, really pretty colors. I just am not very good at shadow yet. And to me, all of the like 
you know, bright greens, dark greens, blacks, like bright orange. Like it was just a little daunting to me personally because I was like, I'm not sure how to make this into a look. And I found that I was pretty much only using like a taupe color that was in the corner and I would use that a lot. And I was like, there's no point in keeping this super expensive, nice palette if all I'm gonna use in the corner is like one taupe color. So I picked this up and I will definitely use all of the colors and it's so good. Super pigmented, soft, wonderful. If you're thinking about getting soft glam, get soft glam. <laughs> and my last product is a lip product, my only lip product on here. And disclaimer, before everyone gives me crap about it, I know it's Lime Crime and that that's like a kind of a controversial brand or whatever. Um, I've never owned anything from Lime Crime. I've always wanted to try their lip products. Everyone always says that they're super good, even though there's, I don't know, some kind of drama with Lime Crime or whatever. Personally, I don't really know all of what goes on there. Uh, if somebody does know and would like to tell me, I would love to know because I really don't. I just know that there's like some kind of like, it's like shrouded in dramatic mystery over there. But anyway, this is a Lime Crime um, liquid lip and it is in the shade Wisteria. It's so pretty. It is a like, I believe they call it a dusty lilac. If you look it up on the site, it is like this color and it is so beautiful. Now I will say that these are really watery. Like when I open this up, it's a little scary. It's super, super watery. Um, it is really easy to put on though and it dries really fast so be quick and it is watery but it is the most comfortable liquid lipstick formula I've ever used ever and I would totally love to buy more of them. Um, in the same opening where they just opened the Ulta by me they just opened a Nordstrom rack in the same uh, plaza that they just opened and they had wisteria and like a couple other colors there was like blue and like gold like colors I wasn't gonna wear. Um, but they had Wisteria, which is a color that I had really wanted for a while and thought about buying, but they're usually like, I believe they're like $20 on Lime Crime's website, which I think is kind of insane, especially because these are like a little bit smaller than regular like lips, like um, liquid lipsticks. Like if I compare this to other ones, this is a bit smaller, but um, I, they had the color that I wanted and it was on sale for $9 as opposed to 20 and I'm like, I can definitely swing $9 if I'm trying to test something out, especially, when, you know, they have the color that I wanted sitting in there and it was like one of the only ones. So I decided to try it and it's so good. I love it so much. I absolutely adore this color. I wear it all the time and I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to find it anymore since they're going at Nordstrom Rock. I assume that means that they're like getting rid of it. Um, so I've actually been online like trying to dupe this color and find something that matches it So when I run out of this I can find something similar <laughs> So if anybody has any ideas for dupes for wisteria by lime crime, please let me know because I'm looking <laughs> Anyway, that is my favorites for March. I will be back in um what is the next month? April? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I'll be back in May to talk about that uh, my favorites for April Thank you for watching and I hope you tune in next time. If you were interested, please subscribe and let me know what else you would like to see on my channel. Thanks for watching.